What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you a, another review and reaction on Ed and Zero. This chapter, I gotta say, I felt has been, was a big chain, game changer in regards to, especially with that cliffhanger. And like with the chronophages, I'm, I'm questioning things, I'm questioning things right now. So without further ado guys, let's get to it. So we start off with the chapter with seeing the attack still on the Edens 1. They're trying to destroy it. It's still ongoing. However, they get pretty bombarded with mini chronophages. That's right, guys. Chronophages are coming out. They're a smaller size. And this is interesting. Like, we think that they're going to maybe save them. But in reality, they're attacking the group. And everyone is having to maneuver, move around, get away from it. You know, it's it's dangerous, obviously, to be around that thing. And um, there's just it feels like a never-ending flow of them because there's just so many of them. And Ziggy actually shows up, and um, you know, it is a great sign to see him still. I felt like what we had in the last chapter, he just kind of faded away. But maybe it's more than that. I think he's back into the fight, and he might be able to help. But it looks like. From what he says, the chronophages are putting up a fight. They want to attack. And this has to do with the fact of what's ongoing with with Shiki. Uh, we actually had Rebecca thinking that maybe the tactic that Shiki had worked, but it's obviously not. So this is kind of crazy. The fight between the chronophage woman and uh, Shiki is pretty dang serious. We see that she is overwhelmingly strong. She's actually speaking more words. And what what's really bothering me is that the fight between these two, we see them kind of going onto a planet. Uh, she says, get out of my world. Get out of here. I don't care for this world. Just give me my time. I don't care for this anymore. I'm just wondering, what in the world? Like, what is actually going on with this person for them to be acting this way? Like, Obviously, they want to steal time. They want that. And now, all of a sudden, they don't care. Like, the, the tables have turned. And we see that she is just crazy. I, I would assume it's a her. I mean, she's got the physique of a woman. And the more I started thinking about this, this is kind of touching into ter uh, theory territory. I'm thinking that we're going to be, be seeing what's behind that mask. I'm not going to say I think it's obvious. I think this is going to be kind of like with Ziggy. You know, Ziggy is just a different version of Shiki. So I'm thinking that this person is none other than Rebecca. I think this is a completely different version of Rebecca. Rebecca from a different timeline, one that we have not been introduced, one that we have not seen at all. And that's really my theory here. I feel like when that that thing like breaks, that uh, Lelouch style helmet that she has, because of her hair, it just looks like it could resemble Rebecca's hair, it's just longer. And not just because of that, I think of the fact that, could it be that time? When I think of time, I think of the only other person, other than of course, Void, who is now gone, is Rebecca. Rebecca, I believe, is, the only other person that I can connect the dots that has this ability. It's not her mother. I would hope it's not. I mean, we saw her in a, you know, obviously a different universe, but she seems to be alive and well, so it wouldn't be her. And I don't think it's her grandmother. And if it is, it's just kind of random. So I just think this is a different version of Rebecca, one that we have no knowledge of, one that we'll probably get a backstory for somehow or some way, and understanding how the chronophages came to be. Maybe that's something that... Maybe, who knows, chronophages could be failed attempts of hers, like maybe different versions of herself trying to get time, but have just morphed into demons of some sort. I don't know. And so that's the crazy part. And then by the end of this chapter, we see that she's actually like slammed onto his like neck and he looks to be dead. I don't think he is, but he might be knocked out. So we'll see. That is it for me, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment, and below your thoughts. As always, I'll stay safe, and I'll catch you later.